I, I couldn't believe that this stuff happened, but I could believe it, right? You know, I mean, I knew that FBI agents were out there creating crime, you know, beating women, covering up for pedophiles and, you know, engaging in secret off the books technological surveillance operations, things like that, right? Um, there's evidence of that, I already knew that. I didn't think it was gonna happen in my case though. I mean, when that thing came out about Richard Trask taking his wife out uh, to a swingers party and you know, he's trying to get cupped by her and she, uh, you know, enjoyed it. She enjoyed the other man much better and, and you know, he, he knew at that moment that he was inferior and he went home and essentially bludgeoned her, bashed her head up against a, a nightstand. You know, this guy's covered in blood. Like, hey man, your guys' lifestyle involves going, at, like you work for the FBI, then you punch out and then on a Sunday night go to some extravagant hotel where there's a bunch of swingers and then you want to watch your wife do it with some other guy and then get pissed that she enjoys it and then come back home and beat the shit out of her because she made that noise that she doesn't make with you or whatever. And then, you know what I mean? You're, you're, you're supposed to be out here stopping terrorism and this is the type of behaviors that you engage in out of work and then take selfies of you like flexing your biceps, you know, like you're so strong and masculine, you know what I mean? But you beat your wife. So yeah, that's kind of a problem. You know, the statistics say that 40%, 40 to 50% of law enforcers uh, beat their wives. I mean, that's not like something I want to exist. It's not a fact that I made up, that's reality. Um, so yeah, that blew my mind. Uh, and I was like, well, you know, I feel sorry for his wife. That's a horrible thing, but that totally helps our case. Cause it proves, it shows that these agents involved in this case were corrupt and incompetent. You know what I mean? And it, I'm sorry that she had to kind of like make that sacrifice. If you want to think about it like that, uh, I feel bad for that. She has to go through with that. Apparently she's still with him and she tried to cover it up for him and say that, oh no, he didn't really mean that and everything. Listen, I listened to the 911 call. I saw the pictures. I watched the uh, body cam footage. I saw the blood. I, I saw the gashes in your dome. I saw everything. Like you're living with a violent psychopath that beats women into a bloody pulp. He tried to kill her, you know? He tried to kill his wife and didn't succeed and then left wasted and was picked up by the uh, local cops at a uh, Meyer parking lot in your boxers still covered in blood. Like when you drink alcohol, like what are you doing? You know what I mean? The, the FBI wants to go after me because you know, I might smoke a little bit of weed here and there, or I showed interest in buying cocaine. Okay, well, at least I'm not getting wasted and going to swingers parties and beating the shit out of my wife. Okay, at least I'm not doing that. Maybe you guys need to vet your own guys a little bit better. You guys are too busy going after real patriots and regular people in America that don't want their rights violated. And you got your own agents out here, you know, beating women and diddling kids and covering up for uh, uh, human trafficking rings. All right. And then framing presidents and, and, and framing fake terrorism cases. So you guys really need to get your stuff together because nobody believes you at all anymore.